hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is zippy and today i'll be showing you guys how i make samosas from scratch so here i've got uh, minced meat you can use any kind of minced meat ground meat you want you can use beef you can use chicken you can use pork whatever you want so i'm using beef and i'm using two um yeah two 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 kgs so that's ground beef and next i've got my leek and as i'm showing you that's leek and spring onion here you can use any onions you want those are my two favorite types of onion to use make sure you wash them nicely so that you don't have any sand stuck in between so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will time lapse it until the next step. So you want to make sure that your uh, spring onions or onions are cut into tiny, tiny, tiny. Go as tiny as you can. If you can go too tiny, that's fine. You can see mine are not too tiny and they're not too big either. So with my minced meat, what I like to do is just cook the meat in its own juices. I don't add any water, just cook the meat and then add all the spices you want. You can put your chili, you can put your seasoning, any seasoning that you want. Go for it and then, and then just be careful not to overcook the meat. I cook mine for about 10 minutes and take it off the heat because we'll still cook it or just uh, we'll still cook it together with the onions. So we don't want to overcook the minced meat. And then on a different pot, I'm going to put some oil, just a tiny bit of oil. That's my oil of choice i like to use rice bran oil so you put just a you put just a tiny bit depending on how oily your meat is and then let it uh heat up before you put your onions so now i guess my oil is nice and hot that's how i test to see if it's too hot or i need to keep heating it i think that's good enough for me now i'm gonna put my onions into the oil and then cook it for a bit and season a bit more to make sure that the onions are well coated in the seasoning that I'm using for my minced meat or rather my samosa filling. Next, once the onions are cooked, I just mix the two and cook them for a bit longer to make sure that the the two are married together and the flavors are transferred to each other and then after cooking i just let it cool down and while that's going on um i like to clean up as i go so here just washing the dishes and making sure that the bench is nice and clean for the next process which will be making the dough so i just use uh all-purpose flour water and salt and some oil to make the samosa dough this is my favorite part so i'll let you guys enjoy the process and then we'll get on to the actual part of making the samosa pockets <laughs> that's our dough it's been about 30 minutes and that's how our dough is looking i think now we're ready to go on to the next step but first because i have nail polish on that's why i'm putting gloves on i'll get my gloves our dough is well rested as you can see it's nice and soft so now what i do next is go in and divide this dough into small circles depending on how many samosas i need so we'll see how many samosas this will give us and i'll go ahead and just spread it here so it's very nice and soft as you can see very nice and soft
so that's all my balls right there and then on to the next process i just use flour all-purpose flour and oil so this and a rolling pin so you roll one ball and put some flour in it and a bit of oil and then roll another one and put it on top don't worry guys you'll see what i'm doing on to the next part of the video so keep on watching so here we are we take one ball and i like to put some flour on the surface to make sure it doesn't stick to the surface and then you push it with your rolling pin ah, okay so two of them so push both of them to about the same size and then just gently pushing it doesn't have to be all the way through just so that you can have you can have enough surface to put your oil so i like to go with some oil first so i'll just sprinkle some oil onto the first bowl and then the same one to the next one and then just sprinkle a bit of oil i mean a bit of flour just so that when you place the two together they don't stick and then once you've done that you just roll the both of them into one big chapati i hope it makes sense that's what i'm doing anyway did you get ready in the dark or something because you look like a beautiful nightmare
yeah guys that's it for this video uh that's the amount of samosas i made and i like to divide some spicy ones and not spicy ones so that i don't forget so when i'm packing them i'll know which is which but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye